Fight hard, fight clean. Choco los manos. Okay? But he's really well-rounded, Bob. He is quick. Up off the canvas, just like Abregu has in the past, to win. According to CompuBox, more than halfway through the round. At the start of the fourth round. Against Nate Campbell. Might not be too uncommon in his career, that big, shiny dome, aggressive style. I think part of the temperament of Abregu right now is he's just trying to get a feel for the speed. Abregu, absolutely, he wants to time Bradley and land that big, big shot, and he has a big one. His ability to adapt. But it's the technique that's also gotten better. Abregu tried to right, Bradley came back to the right, and another one. 23 of the 29 fights for Abregu in his native Argentina. I mentioned Abregu is hard charging, and as the fight wears on, he enjoys a good right hand from Bradley. His temperament, though, he goes down in a lot of his fights. In his last trip to California in May of last year. Good right hand by Bradley! If he enjoys a slugfest, he, he, he'll enjoy this, because that's what this is turning into. Right on the butt. Combination for Bradley. The opportunity for that right hand will present itself again. Stop! Stop! No Separate. reason to... Good. Okay, Bob. 20 to 18, and he doesn't keep Timothy Bradley off him. Almost knock him out in round number two. Uh, I mean, you know, Stop. if you're that big... I think Harold's right about that. Jab more often. But it's the temperament of both fighters. The proactive fighter. He, he, he dictates the pace. There's that right hand again. Partially blocked, but Abregu still felt the effect of it. Play defense. Right hand just missed. Did not go down. Abregu doesn't use the jab or uses height to fight a fight like this. And Abregu... And there are signs that Bradley is getting a little reckless, like, for instance, that wild left hand. Most boxing observers felt heading into this fight. Abregu really can't punch. We've seen Bradley go down, and so... Abregu stepped in. Bradley countered. But Bradley thwarted any attempt from Abregu. There's a right hand from Abregu. One of the best punches he's landed in the fight. And I thought I saw him follow it up with a pretty good left uppercut. Stop. That's a slip. That's a slip. He slipped. He's trying to dart away, and that's the end of the round. The first round so far of the fight where Abregu was actually busy, according to the copy box numbers. Abregu went straight back. Bradley touched him with a right. We've moved into a different phase of the fight. Busy, consistently. Stop. No punching. and threw the left hook with some power, Bob. You're just kind of thinking ahead a little bit. You know, we talked to Bradley as Abregu misses with the right hand over the top. Bradley puts a combination together, you know, about his punching power. <laughs> I don't know, Harold Letterman, did he call it? <laughs> I don't know about that, Bob. I mean, he uses that ring very, very well, but most of the time he's going to the right. A right-handed fighter normally circles to the left, and then he'll come in and land hard shots just like he did right there. It's kind of been lulled into giving him every round and missed one that Abregu won. Throw to Harold. Yeah, you could make the case in round number four. Busier, the connects were about the same. Landed some good shots. Cut's not a problem. Actually, after the clash of heads in round one, Abregu got a cut in the scout line. Bradley steps in with a left. Stop, and then good right hand to the body. Yeah, Bradley's done a nice job with that. And uh, they are the NBA champions. And right now, he looks championship. Within his miss. And some right hands, we've seen him miss a little while. Bob, you mentioned the Lakers. 
Lance Armstrong, you hear that name, you think just sheer determination. And the other guy that he cited was another guy who in his prime was as fit as they come, Evander Holyfield. Uh, a, uh, because you knew he was going to come back so hard and determination. Remember his snarl at Tyson? You're in for it. Bradley steps in with a right. Two more jabs thrown by Bradley to this point. Because Bradley has been wild at times. Oh, oh body good shot. left hook to the body. Accidental, whatever, Max. It was one heck of a body shot by Timothy Bradley that started that whole thing. And there's the brawl for Bradley. It was, and like Angulo in our first fight, Bradley's not letting the clinch stop him from throwing punches. He wants to finish him off now. Left hand thumps off Abedegu's head. By his own admission, he knows it's not that great, but says he turns into more of a warrior when he's hurt. Well, here we see the body shot and headbutt. First the headbutt, and that was hard and right in the jaw. He needs to just... It's where you see he has to think about it, and it's not automatic. Boxing his whole life, it's automatic. Seen towards the end of the round, Abregu is stalking Bradley. No real pop on him. Good stiff jab from Bradley. Shot from as a result that and a right from Bradley. Here's Abregu's big moment last round. The left hook. You see Bradley's chin is down, so it hits on his forehead. Okay, but round number eight was one of those rounds you guys were talking about. 74, Timothy Bradley. The problem is if he's gonna do it every four rounds, he's gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> Unless in one of the in, in that last round he lands it hard enough to stop Bradley. Remember he there was like a moment of pause from him? Yeah. You know, the question, because I, I think Bradley's pitching a shutout still. The margin is he's lost all the other rounds. I don't know. I will defer to Harold in this case. Insisting to him he needs to get a knockout. I guess Andre goes winning this round. Oh, well, left Not hand anymore. by Bradley. If he Abregu... landed one earlier, and then he landed yes, that he one. He found he's an educated fighter. He sees what works, and he went right back to it. There's the right now on the cross. Like a, like a... And to torture the metaphor, Bob, he's in with a home run hitter, though. So far... And maybe looks vulnerable enough here. Despite all the control he's had. Boxing reputation in the press as one of the ten best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. He gets credit not only for beating them, but for learning from the experiences. Looking for a fight. 23 more punches in the fight. But all the meaning, most of the meaningful punches have been landed by Brad. Which fighter is landing more? Timothy Bradley, 25 and 0, taking on undefeated Carlos Abregu. Bradley, one of the best at 140 pounds, fighting tonight at 147. Bradley is the most accomplished at 140 and is the consensus, if not unanimous, pick as the best, as the number 140 pounder in the world based on accomplishment. Right at 140. And that's the idea here also. You see the two of them. Amir Khan, though talented. But it's incumbent upon Abregu to do something emphatic. And you can't hit the guy. I mean, it's amazing. You gotta give Bradley credit for good defense in the score. Abregu was hurt. Bradley's landed a couple of good left hands. Too much movement, too much hand speed for Abregu to deal with. 
Bradley's got the fight won, and he's fighting like he knows it. Uh, Abre Abregu can can't hit, but you can't catch them. It'll be interesting to see what Bradley thinks of this performance. Bradley staying it in harm's way against the hard-hitting Abregu. Why? Fighting smart until 20 seconds ago, and now he's just fighting. Uh, Abregu had the moments, but Bradley had the rounds. All to the winner by unanimous decision from Palm Springs, California. Still undefeated. He is Timothy Desert Storm Bradley.